The 19-year-old is not known tonight after deputies and firefighters pulled him from the Spokane River near Boulder Beach. KXY Force Katie Curry working for you. She was first on the scene as crews worked to rescue that teen. Katie? Meeting earlier this afternoon, the beach behind me was filled with river goers who quickly learned that things can take a turn for the worst in a blink of an eye. Hear his uh, his brother or good friend yelling down there for help, and um, pretty apparent really quickly that this kid had went under, and uh, he was not coming back up. Officials say the teen was attempting to swim across the river when he went under the surface. Everyone. The 911 call came in just before 1:30. Fire crews were the first on scene and started the search from the surface. Right. A short time later, the sheriff's office arrived on scene, and with, within minutes of their of being in the water, their divers were able to locate the teen. In total, he was underwater about 30 minutes. One thing that was apparent, the teen was not wearing a life vest. Have to stress that people need to be wearing uh, life preservers if they're, they're moving away from shore. It's one thing to wade near shore. It's another thing to go out and, and swim and try to cross this river. This river has undercurrents. This river um, is, is cold, and it's a lot greater distance than a lot of people can handle. And they're still Paramedics perform CPR on the team before transporting him to the hospital. And Nadine, I just learned that the team has died. And family and friends were on scene when the team was getting pulled out of the river. And they were hysterical. Those were screams that myself, I will never get those out of my head. But um, the same stretch of water claimed the life of a 16 year old last week. It is very important that you or your children getting into this river wear their life vests when going into the Spokane River. Reporting live in Spokane mm -hmm. tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY 4 News. We can't send out enough reminders about wearing a life jacket. Thank you, Katie, for that.